everybody, this is Ray the Video Guy, and I just wanted to do a quick follow-up on the nested sequences video for ScreenFlow 4, and this is based off of a question from a Video Hero TV who asks, say on the timeline you have a screen capture, then a section of on-camera full screen, then screen capture, can you nest just the screen capture clips and apply filters to all of them, but leave the live video in the middle untouched? Well, the answer is yes, you can, and I've set up a quick little sequence here. This is some screen capture, followed by a stand-up of me, and then more screen capture. And all you have to do is, when you go over to your bin, you can see that you can add media, so I just brought in a clip of myself talking, and then you just literally drag it into the timeline, uh, which I've already done here. And if you notice, I put it on a separate timeline above the rest of the uh, items and you want to have that above and I'll show you why in just a second so if we wanted to be able to nest these clips here the audio and the video then what we would do is we would select those and leave our uh, stand-up clip unselected once again hit nest clips and you'll see it's nested it down into one clip down here and you'll notice that there's a blank section here that's the open space so for instance if we um, if we move this out of the way for just a second, you would see that you've got your screen capture followed by just black, which is where the hole was, and then more of the screen capture. And of course, we'll just put our video back there. So if we were to now take this and apply a filter to it, such as, oh, let's say we wanted a comic effect on it. We would hit add. You can see we've added a ridiculous comic effect to this, which is not very useful for this, but it gets the point across. You can see it's all comic effect, then it goes into me looking normal on there, and then back to the comedy effect for the second half. So that's how you can nest sequences below another object without affecting that particular object. This would also work for green screen video as well, so you could have the uh, the comic book effect here and you could actually have me green screened here and have the comic effect all around me as well. So that's how you would do that. And of course, if you have any questions about ScreenFlow 4, be sure to ask below. And if you're looking to pick up a copy of ScreenFlow 4, be sure to click the link below this video or visit raythevideoguy.com slash screenflow.